What's going on? We back, Goodfellow Sports TV, and I'm hearing very, very interesting takes on LeBron James last night uh, with the brawl they had at the end of the Houston Rockets game. Appreciate everybody for listening in. We back with another one. Don't forget to check out our growing playlist, our NBA playlist as well. Do a lot of different type of videos, so hopefully you can find something in there that intrigues you, and I guarantee you probably will. Um, um, let's talk about it, man. Um, what Laker fans are upset about LeBron is him, um, you know, you know, getting to, uh, CP3 and basically, you know, his friendship with CP3, um, it took uh, seniority over uh, his teammate, uh, you know, his partnership, his brotherhood right now with Rajon Rondo. Um, we know LeBron and Chris Paul is very, very close, but when it's down to a team scrap, and I know he was trying to calm the situation down. Um, you got to ride with your dog, man. And a lot of Laker fans are disgusted. I mean, people saying you will never see Mike and, uh, and, and Jordan the Bulls brawl and, and Jordan grab Mike and walk up out the tunnel, you know, walk Mike to the tunnel. I mean, walk Isaiah to the tunnel. No, he was trying to put Jordan and Isaiah on his neck, you know. And it's just the AA unification, like Michael Rapport said. These dudes are more friends than anything because growing up in the AAU system, a lot of these guys play with each other. A lot of these guys have fun with each other, and they truly like each other. There's no more real bad bad blood rivalries in the NBA no more. I mean, um, you can't call it the Wizards and, and the Celtics a rivalry because the, the Wizards don't ever win, you know what I'm saying, especially in playoff series. So um, a lot of Laker fans are discussing it and already looking for a way to discredit LeBron James and say LeBron James is this and that. And, you know, to be honest, LeBron is – you know, getting his feet wet. Wherever he, every time he changed teams, it's an adjustment period for him. And it seems like LeBron James is trying to fit in rather than play to the narrative that I use as well, that he's the most ball-dominant player I've ever seen in my life in the NBA, where he dictates everything. He's trying to let Rondo run a little bit of the offense. He's trying to let, you know, Brandon Ingram work out a little bit. So he's trying to find his way. So I'm not ready to say, you know, somebody needs to save his career or – or, or it's a failure so far. I'm not ready to, to really use that narrative. It's still early. They own to, you know, you know, they ain't got nowhere to go but up. But, yeah, you got to realize, man, you can't. That ain't no good look, bro. That ain't no good look, even though how close you are with Chris Paul and he's like the players president of the union and all that. Um, that, 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 that don't look good. You know, that don't look good. You over there, you know, walking out, Chris Paul, y'all talking it out, and he just scrapped with your teammate now. We know LeBron and Rondo have certain feelings about each other, but it seems like um, LeBron respects Rondo enough and trusts Rondo enough to handle the ball and run the offense some, and he play off the ball some. So he has a level of respect for Rondo, and they probably put the history, you know, they pass history behind them. But um, to keep it real, man, Roger, I mean, to keep it real, you can't do that, man. You know, you can't you can't be after a brawl. You got to be tossing, you know, toss CP to the side and then go in there and try to, you know, get your teammates to defuse the situation. I know Brandon Ingram was wrong for popping it off and pushing James Harden, but I feel him on that. I'm sorry, bro. I feel Brandon Ingram on that, man. Chris James Harden gets so, much, so many of these touch fouls and these uh, coming off screens with these step back, you know, jumper fouls and, and, and these pity path fouls he be acting. That's just frustrating, man. Highly frustrating. So I understand that the NBA is just so, so soft. And, you know, Brandon Ingram, I'm happy, like I said last night in the uh, post-game reaction um, or, you know, reaction video. I'm happy. I'm happy that Brandon Ingram did that. That showed that Brandon Ingram got some dog in him. He just always looked lackadaisical, lost. He just played soft. That just shows you that he got some dog in him, and they, and they need that from him, man. They really, really need that from Brandon Ingram, man. And that showed to me that he had a pulse and he had some type of gutterness to him, some type of – some type of deep dog ratchetness to him or something. And I like that in a player. And I think if he get that type of uh you know, he get that type of uh that dog in him, he gonna be a great player. And um I wasn't mad at him. I felt him on that, man. I'm tired of these pity pap files, but LeBron James, man, he he committed to Cardinal sin. Even if these guys lose two or three games or four or five game suspension, what LeBron James did is unforgivable. You know what I'm saying? You put another team, another team over your teammate. You don't do that. You know what I'm saying? You don't. You don't do that. You don't put nobody takes seniority over the team. No matter if that's your brother on the other side or if your mom on the other side, it's your team. You know what I'm saying? You consoling him, walking him out, walking him out the stadium, talking to him. Nah, bro. Nah, man. You supposed to be getting Rondo and talking to Rondo. You know what I'm saying? 
You ain't supposed to be walking Chris Paul out while your team over there scrapping and, and you going to war. No, nah, man. That, that's one of the reasons people don't like LeBron too, man. You know, you know, most of the old old ball fans, man, that watched the watched the game in the seventies and the eighties when they used to really scrap and they really was body body. And you had Lambeer, Rick Mahorn, um, all these other fighters, uh, uh, all these dudes fighting on the court. Rudy Tomtanovich getting his mouth, getting his getting his face decapitated, blood all over the floor. And they really were scrapping. They they know they had never see uh, quote unquote the best player in the league, Michael Jordan. And Isaiah Thomas, you know, walking off the court to each other after they back, they fight, they teams got done fighting and battling and scrapping on the court. You know what I'm saying? You don't never see nothing like that, and um, and, and that's just what it is, man. You know, LeBron James. Most people say, oh, he got a target on his back. People just love to criticize LeBron James, but when you do stuff like that, man, you walking off with with, with Chris Paul and you're not, you know, going to console Rondo and making sure Rondo good. I mean, that just don't look good, man. That don't look good. That's not Laker. Worthy. That's not Laker like. That's not the Laker way. You know? Could you imagine? Could you imagine? You know, James Worthy. You know, or 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 some of the other guys. Uh, you know, over there they got into it with the Celtics, and then you know, uh, James Worthy. You know, go ahead and, and, and walk my Larry Bird out the damn tunnel, and they laughing and playing, and they just talking to each other. Man, hell no, nah, man. No, nah, man. You know, but at the end of the day, Rondo did spit on Chris Paul, so maybe Chris Paul wanted to get the strap. You know what I'm saying? And maybe Brown was like, man, you don't need to get the strap at the game, Chris Paul. Don't get the strap. You know, I handle Brown, though. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. But still don't look good, man. Still don't look good. People questioning his allegiance to the Lakers already. Is he here in Hollywood just to make movies and make business moves after uh after basketball? Or does he come here and really want to win? And obviously starting on two, you open yourself up for criticism. Obviously taking uh, your friendship with Chris Paul is taking um, – and taking uh, uh, seniority over your know, teammate uh, Rajon Rondo is never a good look. It's not a good look. But hey, you know LeBron just—he used to be in a target, and um, you know that is what it is, man. It's just—it's funny, man. But uh, there's a video out there Rondo spitting on Chris Paul, and uh, Chris Paul like he wanted to put his finger dead into his nose, into his brain, like he might dig for the gold up that man's nose, man. But yeah, it's unfortunate that it happened. It's gonna be some guys getting suspended for real. Um, but I think LeBron committed the most cardinal sin on the court, even more of a cardinal sin than what Brandon Ingram did with popping all this off. He helped the enemy. That's the point. He helped the enemy before he helped his his teammate Rajon Rondo and his Lakers compadres. You know, he walked Chris Paul off to his side or off to the locker room. Talking to him while his boy Rajon Rondo could have used, you know, him talking to him or whatever. So, you know, parents going to nitpick. You know, me, obviously, I'm from, I'm, I like the old school ball. Um, 90s ball was my thing. Uh, yeah, I could never see, you know, some of Ewan and, and, you know, Oakley and them guys, you know, doing that, man. I could never see that. But, hey, you know, it's a new, it's a new era. You can't compare these new dudes, this new generation to, to the ball players we once had, and maybe you know, friendship trumps team you know, your teammate. You know, I thought being your know, teammate was supposed to be a brotherhood, but apparently it's not. You know, but um, you know, I mean, I don't expect nothing less for LeBron or nothing more. This is exactly what you get. He's an ambassador of the league. Him and Chris Paul is close. Um, but you know, Brandon Ingram. You know, I like I like to see that fire from Ingram. I will say that I love to see that fire. I didn't know Ingram had that in him, man. A lot of people look at it as a negative. And it kind of yes, is gonna cost people games. But I look at it as a positive. You want to see that 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 dog in Ingram because if that dog is woken up Ingram. Ingram could be a dog, um, but right now Brandon Ingram is still all potential. You know, you see number one pick above him with Ben Simmons is doing after coming off a of Liz Frank or a foot broken foot, whatever he had, he's taking the league by storm. And Brandon Ingram haven't even lived up half of what Ben Simmons has lived up to. Okay. Good for the sports TV. I appreciate everybody for rocking out with us one time for the one time. Don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Shout out to the Lions Den basketball community one time for the one time. Also, if you want to make a donation, the PayPal link is there. I definitely appreciate everybody that do make a donation. Don't forget, we on uh, we also got the podcast popping off, so make sure you click that link, download the podcast. We're going to do some exclusive NBA stuff every week, a couple episodes, so be on the lookout for that. Shout out to my brother, Colossal Sports TV, my brother, the Cali Enigma Boxing Sports Network. Y'all go subscribe to them. We gone.